What up guys, it's your boy Ali and welcome to Hip Hop Forever. Now before we get started, make sure to add me on IG. I haven't been promoting that at all, but you know what they say, it's better late than never. I'll be doing some giveaways on IG. You can also request videos there as well. Let's get started. Now, as we all know, Young Buck's career isn't what it used to be. When Young Buck joined Cash Money back in the day, everybody had high expectations for him and his career. Young Buck was so good at what he did that even Lil Wayne became envious of his rapping ability. And Young Buck used to freestyle a lot. Wayne did not like Young Buck, man. The baby used to always make Young Buck freestyle. Young Buck was a beast at that shit. And I believe that's why Wayne started freestyling, to be honest, because Wayne a competitive nigga, you know what I'm saying? Clearly Young Buck was meant to do this rap thing. Now when Young Buck got to G-Unit, his career took off like never before. Now I can't remember the first Young Buck song I've ever heard. Like most people, my introduction to him was through 50 Cent and G-Unit. But the first time I heard him rap, I remember thinking that he may not be the most lyrical rapper in the world, but his verses pack a lot of energy and his songs always make you hype. When Straight Out of Cashville dropped, it was an instant smash. I believe the project did about 400k in the first week. And it's safe to say that this is the album that turned Young Buck into a star. Like most artists, Young Buck hasn't been able to maintain the same level of success he had when he dropped his first album. In fact, if you look at his career, one can easily tell that people are not checking for Young Buck the way they used to. With that being said, I'm going to discuss the three major problems that Young Buck has from my perspective. Now let's start off by discussing the elephant in the room. As we all know, a couple of years ago, Young Buck got exposed for being with a transgender woman. The transgender woman recorded a private conversation that the two of them had. And from the sound of things, she was ready to expose Young Buck regardless of what he had to say. Not that I'm trying to get you to pay me off or nothing like that because that's not what I want. I would have just loved to deal with you and, you know, kept it real with you. But at the end of the day, it, what I'm saying is this. I don't have a, a problem with remaining as you from a friendship and keeping it 100 from you on that end. Now, when this phone conversation got leaked, I remember thinking to myself, like, why is nobody on Young Buck's team making sure that he doesn't have a phone? Young Buck has a habit of spilling his heart out on the phone only for that conversation to get leaked by the person he was talking to. It needs to stop. You know that old saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me? Well, clearly Young Buck isn't one to learn from his mistakes. <laughs> Don't worry about that shit, you see me? Before I was totally shocked. Personally, I don't care about Young Buck's sexual preferences because what the man chooses to do behind closed doors is his business. However, there's no denying that the fact that he got caught changed the way people perceive him. And I'll tell you why. If you think about it, the whole of G-Unit were being marketed as gangster rappers. Gangster rappers usually have to uphold a tough guy image. Most fans want to believe that their favorite rapper is doing the things that they rap about. It makes the rapper appear more authentic in their eyes. With that being said, it's clear that the authenticity of Young Buck's gangster image is being questioned. Now around the time when Young Buck was getting exposed, I remember going to a birthday party with some friends. After everybody said their toasts, the DJ went back to playing some music and the first song he played was In The Club. It seems like the DJ was in the G-Unit spirit because he followed In The Club up with Shorty Wanna Ride by Young Buck. Now when that song came on, the conversation immediately shifted to Young Buck's alleged situation with a transgender woman. Now I've been in several situations where when Young Buck's name comes up, people immediately think about the fact that he was once linked to a transgender woman. In my opinion, this is the biggest problem with Young Buck right now. Every time Young Buck's name gets mentioned, people don't think about all the great music that he has made over the years. They don't think about all his accolades. They simply focus on all the drama surrounding him and his alleged transgender mistress. To put it simply, Young Buck's career has been turned into one big transgender joke. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have nothing against transgender people. I don't subscribe to the notion of hating someone because they are different, because who am I to judge a person for living their truth? That's God's job not mine. With that being said, the solution to Young Buck's problem is he probably needs to confess. Instead of constantly denying the allegations, he should just own what he did. I think one of the reasons why Young Buck gets roasted so much is because he constantly insults the intelligence of the public. At this point, we've all heard the tape. We've all seen the interviews. We know what's up. Check this out real quick. Let me go on and address this real, real fast real quick. Ain't shit gay about me. I ain't got a problem with no gay people. 
and say all this old hoe ass shit that you want to say on the gram say it to my face we can do it on a live too you bitch ass nigga let me give you a quick personal story when i was a kid people would call me prince ali all the time and i hated it i hated it so much that it drove me to anger and frustration every time i heard it so i decided to try something different i thought to myself what if i actually try to learn to like this name and that's what i did and that's when i noticed something a little bit odd the moment i owned the name and started calling myself prince ali was the moment people stopped calling me prince ali i bring this up to say when young buck owns up to what he did people will start to care about this situation a whole lot less because when that happens he will have nothing to hide now let's move on from young buck's personal life and let's talk about his business acumen now from the outside looking in it seems like young buck did everything he was supposed to do as far as his career goes he got signed at a young age and he eventually became a platinum selling artist most people can only dream about achieving the same level of success as young buck when young buck was in g unit he was living his best life he was at the peak of his career and he owned it but unfortunately for him nothing good lasts forever. Now I began to witness the decline of Young Buck around the late 2000s. Young Buck went on to say that he wasn't getting any royalties from any of his studio albums and that he was owed money from the label. Once Young Buck spoke out against 50 Cent publicly, 50 kicked him out of the group and in my opinion this is the turning point in Young Buck's career. You, you can take this as official notice right here because we're on the hottest morning show in the world right now. Ow. Pretty much you could say Young Buck is no longer in the group G unit but signed to Junior as a solo artist. Ever since then, 50 started using Young Buck's contract against him. He stopped Young Buck from doing shows, collecting royalty checks, dropping music, and it only got worse from there for Young Buck. Now, since we're talking about Young Buck's business acumen, I think it's safe to say that he didn't know what he was getting into when he signed his contract with 50 Cent. Like a lot of artists back then, Young Buck probably signed the contract without reading it. And in the off chance that he did read the contract, it's obvious that he didn't know that he'd be signing his life away to 50 Cent in that moment. For a long time, 50 basically owned Young Buck's soul. He kept food out of Young Buck's mouth because he knew that he could get away with it. And in the end, this kept Young Buck from being relevant as far as his music goes. Now, Buck did drop a lot of mixtapes. I'm not saying he didn't put on the work, but I know a lot of people who don't listen to mixtapes at all. And to those people, Young Buck hasn't been relevant since he dropped Buck the World. In essence, one of Young Buck's biggest problems was his lack of business acumen. He signed his life over to 50 without knowing it. And I believe that decision haunts him to this very day. Now according to 50 Cent, Young Buck has always lived beyond his means and lives like a drug dealer. Young Buck would make a lot of money and blow it on an absurd amount of material possessions only to make more money and do it again. If you have conversations with him, you explain to them to kind of slow down, get a more moderate pace spending your finances, and they don't listen. 50 believes he overpaid Buck and that Buck was just ungrateful for all the things that 50 did for him. Now at this point, I don't think Young Buck's career is ever going to be what it once was. As far as relevancy and respect goes, there are always gonna be people who can look past Young Buck's affiliation with a transgender woman. Young Buck has fans that will listen to his music no matter what. So in that aspect, he'll always have a fan base. However, like I said earlier, not everybody feels the same way. And the fact that people think of transgender women when Young Buck's name gets mentioned is not a good look for him. In conclusion, Young Buck faced three major problems that led to his downfall throughout his career. The first one is his lack of business acumen as he signed his life to 50 without even knowing it. The second one is obviously the transgender rumors. Personally, I don't see Young Buck recovering from this unless he owns up to it. And his third problem is obviously 50 Cent. Now, as you all know, Young Buck filed for bankruptcy. He also went to prison. Let's just say that Young Buck hasn't been experiencing his best years as of late. That's it for me, man. It's your boy Ali. In your opinion, what are the biggest problems that Young Buck faced in his career? Let me know down below. Also, if you have any video requests, be sure to let me know as well. Don't forget to add me on Instagram. That's Hip Hop Forever 3 hours. Knew what happened to video dropping next week. Till next time, peace.